Hi, I'm Chris Gardner with your tip of the day from Practical Help for Your Digital Life. You can find all my tips on my website, and I post lots of them on Facebook, iTunes, and YouTube. I hope you'll join my member-supported website where you can also get tip sheets with helpful links and detailed how-tos. Please join today. Today's tip is about what to do when your technology isn't working the way that it should. This tip works for just about anything that uses technology. Computers, smartphones, tablets, printers, televisions, cable boxes, remote controls, home networking, routers and access points, cordless phone systems, smart appliances, you name it. In my decade and a half of experience helping folks just like you, it works 80% of the time. So try this first before you call somebody for help. That could be expensive. This tip is very simple. Restart, repower, renew your device. For computing devices, restarting them will often cure system problems. What this means is you shut it off fully and then turn it back on. If your device has a removable battery, take it out, count to 30, and put it back in. For devices that are plugged into the wall, unplug the power, wait 30 seconds, and then plug it back in. If your device has disposable batteries, replace them all with fresh ones. Now some devices need to be restarted slightly differently. For instance, Fios routers, cable modems, and set-top boxes may have a coax cable. After you've unplugged the device, unscrew that cable, count to 30, and then screw it back in. If there's an Ethernet cable that goes somewhere, unplug that for at least 10 seconds and then plug it back in. Be sure you plug cables back into the same place you removed them. An easy way to avoid mistakes is to take a picture with your phone before you make any changes. For other devices in your home or office network, depower and repower everything in order from inside to outside. This means first turn off printers and computers, then turn off switches, routers, cable modems, access points, and any other network gear. Then when you repower, start with your internet connection, which is your router or cable modem, followed by any switches and access points, and lastly, your printers and computers. If none of that works, then it's time to call Verizon, Comcast, Cox, or your friendly tech support friend. Chances are really good that you'll have saved yourself a lot of downtime by fixing it yourself. As always, my members can grab my printable tip sheet and get more detail and links to resources I've mentioned here. And if you find my tips useful, please share them with your friends. Clicking the like button is great also. And don't forget to become a member of Practical Help for Your Digital Life. Thanks for watching.